MPs warn World Bank that gay activists are tarnishing Uganda's image Muhammadi Matobu by Muhammadi Matobu August 22, 2023 Reading Time 3 minutes read MPs warn World Bank that gay activists are tarnishing Uganda's image MPs speaking to the media. A group of members of parliament MPs have raised concerns about the influence of Ugandan gay rights activists and have advised the World Bank to exercise caution when considering their claims, referring to them as self-interested individuals. They argue that these activists are primarily seeking personal gain and will eventually abandon their advocacy for homosexuality once they achieve their goals. These remarks were made during a press conference held at Parliament, as a response to the World Bank's decision to suspend funding for projects in Uganda due to the enactment of the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. The World Bank cited human rights violations as the reason for the suspension and called for adequate policies in Uganda to protect minority groups, including the LGBTQ plus community. While the severity of Uganda's new legislation, which includes life imprisonment and even the death penalty for certain acts, has prompted the World Bank's action, concerns have been raised about the inconsistent approach in dealing with other countries that also criminalize homosexuality. Questions have been raised about whether alternative funding sources may be sought if the World Bank is perceived to be influencing political decisions using its funds. Sarah Opendi, the Tororo District Woman MP, urged the World Bank to focus on its mission of eradicating poverty globally, emphasizing that Uganda will not accept homosexuality as a human right. The law that we passed was intended to ensure that sin doesn't find its way in this country. The Anti-Homosexuality Act is intended to protect the children of this country. We aren't going to allow the sexualization of our children, sodomizing our children and calling that a human right, said Opendi. She highlighted that the World Bank should be cautious of a few Ugandans attempting to mislead the organization and other partners, especially those solely seeking personal gain. Opendi expressed confidence that these individuals will eventually return to living, normal, lives once they achieve their objectives. She emphasized that Uganda is committed to resisting the sexualization of children and considers such acts to be against the principles set by God. The World Bank didn't create human beings, God created human beings and he created a man and a woman, and gave us clear commandments and we are living by those commandments. We aren't going to relent, except sin being disguised as a human right, said Opendi. Asuman Basalirwa, the M for Bugiri municipality, accused the World Bank of suspending funding without fully understanding the provisions of the Anti-Homosexuality Act. He clarified that no Ugandan would be arrested for failing to report acts of homosexuality unless they were committed against vulnerable groups such as children. Basalirwa argued that the World Bank's statement demonstrates a lack of knowledge regarding the law. When you look at the statement by the World Bank, it creates an impression that everybody will have committed an offense if they don't report acts of homosexuality, that is wrong. And that is our problem, either, there is deliberate distortion, misinformation or total ignorance in as far as this law is concerned, said Basalirwa. Basalirwa also refuted the World Bank's claim that individuals may be denied healthcare due to their sexual orientation, describing it as a misconception. He asserted that in Uganda, people are not asked about their sexual orientation when seeking medical treatment and that any medical professional who discriminates in this manner would be violating their Hippocratic Oath. Basalirwa insisted that the World Bank is propagating misinformation to create the false impression that gay individuals or those perceived as gay would be denied medical care based on their sexual orientation, which goes against Ugandan laws. MPs expressed concerns about the influence of Ugandan gay rights activists and urged the World Bank to reassess its stance, emphasizing the importance of understanding the context and provisions of the Anti-Homosexuality Act. They reaffirmed Uganda's commitment to protecting children and maintaining its values and laws.